Hello everybody, this is Maddie, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be speaking and talking about my Medusa piercing, because it's a new one I have. Um, I've got a lot of questions about it, so I thought it would just be helpful to make like a whole little video about it, since I'm pretty used to it now. But first, make sure to like this video if you end up enjoying it. Comment whatever you want to comment, and also make sure to subscribe for more great content from me. And then also turn on that bell to know when I post. It's every Thursday, but you might forget, so you should totally turn that on. Um, and then also make sure to follow my two Instagrams. My beauty one, where I post all my makeup looks, is Modified Makeup by Mad. And then also my personal one, where you can watch me go on tangents on my story, is Madeline McBride underscore. Okay, we got that all out of the way. So I got my Medusa pierced about a week and a half ago, I think. Um, I can try to do a close-up so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside of my mouth. Um, I don't know the lengths of my bar, and I'm so sorry if you go to a good enough piercer, they should just know what to set you up with. I'm sorry that I don't know that. She just kind of like does it for me. She's amazing. Um, so I'll try to show you guys when we first zoom in. So, as you can see, it's just a flat thing back there. So I have some notes on my phone that I'm going to be looking at a lot, so um, that's what I'm doing because I tend to forget things a lot. So first of all, um, the pricing for it, I think with the tip included, and I also bought cleaner, it was around 80 bucks. I think it's $65 where I went to get it. The cleaner I got with it was $10, so on and so forth. So I guess we'll talk about the whole process of me getting it. I was very fucking nervous to get this piercing because it's been a year since I've gotten a piercing in three years since I've gotten a facial piercing. They, I always get freaked out when I get a facial piercing. I have to really think about it for a long time because it's a big commitment because usually it's a big old scar in your face if you don't want it and it's right smack dab in the center of your face, especially this one. And I've never gotten a lip piercing before. Um, I know scarring can be a little rough but like I'm at the point now I'm in the middle of a fucking pandemic I'm like you know what I just it doesn't matter if I want to get it I'm gonna get it so I just got it and I really love it obviously if I didn't like it I would probably immediately take it out but when I got there first she marked me up well she cleaned me first you know just cleaned me out and then she marked me up and then I checked it multiple times to make sure it was straight you know and the placements where I like it and then she had me lay down on my back some piercers will have you sit up when they do it some of them will have you lay down uh, she asked me to lay down um, and then she did use a clamp again some piercers use clamps some don't um, it's really their personal preference and what they can work best under and everyone was freaking out about the pain of this piercing they were telling me like that's the most painful lip piercing it sucks it hurts so bad like 8 out of 10 pain and um piercing needles everything just needles freak me out tattoo needles don't I don't know why they don't but like whenever I have to get an IV whenever I have to get a shot piercings I freak out everyone was telling me this is gonna be a terrible scary one but I don't know if it's just I had like an insane adrenaline rush but as soon as she went through the bottom of my lip the second the needle started going through my lip went numb I don't know I felt it kind of pop through the front. Uh, she did it perfectly straight on. I'm very happy with the placement. Um, she put in a pretty fucking long bar at first. I don't know if I have any pictures of it, but if I do, I'll put them in. But I'm happy she did because the swelling was definitely, I don't want to say bad, but there was a lot of swelling. Me personally, the pain level, I would say is like a 5 out of 10. But also, I had the same situation when I got my nipples pierced a while back. The first nipple didn't hurt because I had so much adrenaline, but then the second one did. Maybe if you just freak yourself out enough it won't hurt it works for me personally but that was the whole situation and then she told me um, for cleaning the inside I just have to use mouthwash with no alcohol in it I am actually just using my little sister's kids mouthwash because it's very like easy going and it's not like it too much for my teeth and too much for my mouth because I feel like using regular Listerine like fucking a thousand times a day just seems like a whole lot so I'm using kids mouthwash and then I got saline solution from her like a wound wash pretty much um and then also using antibacterial soap so for the first week I have to clean it four times with antibacterial soap and saline solution a day um, and then use mouthwash whenever I eat and then the next week I only have to clean it two times a day and then I think after that it's pretty much just like once a day as needed um, so the first things I noticed and I'm gonna list off a bunch of things that I feel like nobody told me that I would want you guys to know because it was annoying first thing is you can't press your lips together 
when you have that long bar in. One, it fucking hurts, so you can do your absolute best to do it, but it won't feel good. And two, it's, like, you almost can't. It's just so bad, but, I mean, now I can, but, like, doing that, that wasn't a thing you could do the first week. Me, personally, I couldn't. Maybe you could. But that's one thing that's very fucking frustrating. And also, because of that, kind of, my lips would get chapped a lot. Um, like, all the fucking time. Um, I was always putting on lip balm, and whenever I have lip balm on, I don't know if you guys do this, but, like, I'll just, like, sit there and, like, rub my lips together. And since I couldn't do that, it was drying up quickly because I wasn't, like, constantly moving the product. I don't know. My lips were fucking terribly chapped. And I also feel like a big part of that is also using saline solution a lot. It is salt water. It will dry out your lips. And it also dried out the fuck out of my nose. My nose is still kind of getting repaired from that as we speak. And also, drinking out of a straw will really help. I don't know. I would feel, like, unsanitary getting, like, a coffee drink all over the piercing. So... I would just put a straw behind my teeth and drink it that way so I wouldn't feel gross whenever I would drink something besides water. Um, so those were like the first things I noticed that I was like, fuck, this is annoying. But, you know, it gets better. Like most oral piercings, they're very fucking annoying and really hard to get used to at first. My whole cleaning process, let's say like, okay, time to clean my piercing. What am I gonna do? Um, well, if it was after I would eat, I would first use mouthwash. I would take antibacterial soap, just like a glob of it, on a Q-tip and rub it all around the piercing. Go to the other side of the Q-tip and get warm water on it and just kind of get all those crusties off. And then after that, I would get a cotton ball, um, put some saline solution on it, and soak the piercing with the cotton ball for about two minutes. Ibuprofen! Ibuprofen is gonna be your homie. You guys are gonna be fucking tight as hell. You're not gonna poop because ibuprofen makes you constipated, but that's okay, because you're gonna need it. There was many times that I was like, my liver's gonna kill me if I have any more ibuprofen, but you're gonna need it. I swear to God. Your lip will get so swollen without it, and it will be throbbing. It will hurt so fucking bad. Like, you literally will feel like your heartbeat in your top lip without ibuprofen. And also, I haven't even got to the gums yet. Um, I have aligners in now, um, so it doesn't really apply to me anymore, and also I got a shorter bar in, but that long bar is going to be scraping right here in between your gums, and I'll tell you what, that fucking hurts. Like, you will not want to talk, you will not want to move your lips around, because that fucking hurts. That has to be the worst part of it for me, was I felt my gums receding, and I was like, this can't be good. <laughs> like, I was like, is this gonna be a forever thing? This is terrible. So, ibuprofen, it's gonna help your gums, it's gonna help the swelling, it's gonna help that throbbing feeling that just, like, was terrible. Uh, when you eat, another thing to be careful of when you have the long bar in, it will catch on your teeth if you eat with your mouth closed, like you should. As a civilized human being, you should chew with your mouth closed. Um, but when you do that, it will catch onto your teeth. So, you heard it here first, folks. You have to eat like a fucking heathen for about a week with your mouth open. And since I eat with my family at dinner every night, I was trying to be as polite as I could be, and I would just cover my mouth like this and chew with my mouth open because it will catch over and over again on your teeth if you try to eat with your mouth closed. It'll irritate it, it'll make it more fucked up, so I just suggest being a gross person for a week and also warning the people around you like, hey, if you don't like the sound of somebody chewing, sorry. sorry. That's like the main issues I could think of, but almost like 90% of these go away when you get a shorter bar, so don't panic. Also, my piercer suggested I could get a shorter bar in a week after getting it done. I read somewhere, or on a lot of different websites, people were saying you can get a short bar in after six weeks, which I personally fucking think. One, your gums are gonna get so receded, your teeth are gonna get so bad. I don't think personally, this is what I think, you should wait six weeks. I waited a week, I got this short bar in. I highly recommend going to the piercer because if you do it yourself, you're gonna swell up and then you're gonna be like, oh, I did it too early. If you go to a piercer, they're gonna be able to do it nice and swiftly. I only swelled like a tiny bit when she changed it. And she also sized me perfectly. She isn't just giving me like an initial size she gives everyone. She looks at your lips, she sees the thickness of it because everyone has different thicknesses of lips. Um, she told me if I need to come back, we can adjust it by the millimeter, depending if I need it a little bit shorter, if I need a little bit longer. 
you know, she says to give it another week or two. And if we need to make those adjustments, we can. And also my piercer offers the silicone backs you can put on the back of the bar if it makes the nesting a little more comfortable. And you're like, wait, Maddie, what's nesting? Well, let me tell you, your bar in the back, the, that little disc is supposed to sink into your skin and kind of stay there. And if it doesn't do that, a lot of people think it's incorrect for it to do that, but it's supposed to, because if it doesn't, that's how people get receding gum lines. And that's how people fuck up their teeth. Um, it shouldn't be sinking so deep in that it's like fucked up, obviously. But if you keep an eye on it, mine's doing it. If it's just kind of like in your skin a little bit and nesting in there, that's how it's supposed to be. And that's how this piercing doesn't destroy your teeth. I just wanted to put that out there. I was over here curious, like on Reddit, and there was people who were like, oh, I've had my Medusa for 12 years and I've never had like anything wrong with my teeth. And everyone was like, oh, why? And it's because that's a little fact not a lot of people know. Don't get a longer bar in because you feel this pressing into the inside of your lip. It's supposed to do that. You'll get used to it. Those silicone backings that my piercer offers is just to make that a little more comfortable if it is pretty uncomfortable. That's my whole tangent. I went in exactly a week after I got it done, got it changed, and it's like one of the best things I've ever done. Um, I was able to eat with my mouth closed. It actually caught one time, so I think in a couple of weeks I might get it a millimeter shorter to see if that'll help. So I can eat with my mouth closed, I can press my lips together, my lips are a lot less chapped because I can do that. I'm trying to think of anything else. It's just generally more comfortable, it's healthier for my gums. I think that's pretty much all I want to say about the bar length. I'd definitely go to a piercer to get it switched out. I've seen videos of people do it themselves and then their lips swells up a whole fuck ton and it just doesn't feel good. So like, please, like it's like 10 bucks for them to do it. I mean, if you bring your own jewelry, it'll be free, but if they get you your own personal jewelry and measure like your specific size out, it was 10 bucks for me. Now we're gonna go into concerns. Some concerns I've personally had that kind of made me go into alert mode and then it ended up being fine. So one, if it's itchy, that's okay, it's healing, it's not infected. And if it has white, clear, or very, very, very light yellow, like I'm talking like a whitish yellow, if it's like a dark yellow, nah, -uh. light yellow pus, that's okay. It's just doing something that we call lymphing. So it's pretty much just releasing fluids. It's just like cleaning, it's healing, it's doing its thing. Don't panic, it's not infected. If it's still throbbing and oozing, yeah, that's not good. If it's a dark yellow, a green, or bleeding, or doing some fuck shit, yeah, that's not good. But yeah, I think I would want to say about five or six days into me having this piercing, I started getting this super whitish, like, very light yellow stuff coming out of my piercing. And I said, uh-oh, playing, uh, what's, what's going on there? Texted my piercer, looked it up, it's all fine, my piercing's fine, everything's okay. So that was a big thing that made me panic, if that happens to you. Don't worry about it. Um, make sure you do clean it off though. Don't like let it sit there. Don't be like, oh, well Maddie said it's okay. So like, it's okay if it's there. Like, no, you should clean it off. But like, if that's happening, it's not the end of the world. Sorry, my camera died. So if I'm in a slightly different position, don't worry about that. But what I was about to get into is like doing oral stuff with a partner, whether it be, you know, the fun stuff or just like kissing. Um, you're gonna wanna be careful for sure. When you have the long bar in, the only thing you can really do is kissing. So I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, have fun going down on your partner. It's not going to happen and I wouldn't recommend it. But kissing, you're just going to want to be gentle at first. You're not going to want to be like full on fucking like, you know, doing some crazy shit. You know what I mean? Like, but once you get the shorter bar in and you're used to it and it's like feeling better, go crazy. Just be careful. You know, I wouldn't try to get too much, um, other humans bodily fluids in your mouth but you know you can be careful around that time and then you know maybe in a month or two go crazy go stupid but that's all i'm gonna say on that and then also pretty much the last word of advice that i can get is i got aligners in and it kind of helped the whole healing process you wouldn't think it would but it kind of covers my whole gum line it doesn't really fuck with my teeth or my gums um and i think it's nice that i do have my aligners right now because it can help me adjust to this in a safe way without destroying my teeth and my gums. So obviously not everyone's gonna do that, but you know, if you plan on getting aligners and you also like a Medusa piercing, maybe try lining them up. I did it on accident and it's one of the, 
nicer accidents I've made. That's pretty much everything I can think of, just kind of covering everything. I hope this was a helpful video for you guys. If you have any questions whatsoever, let me know in the comments and I'll answer them. I always answer any questions you have. Um, and also, I've gotten some requests and messages about like, oh, are you ever going to talk about your tattoos? I would like to. I kind of want to get a vibe for what you guys are interested in. So if you guys do want me to talk about my specific tattoos, I do have some like different placements or whatever. Um, I do have calf tattoos, I have thigh tattoos, I have a sternum tattoo, I have a sleeve and a half sleeve, I have a chest tattoo. So like, if you guys want me to talk about any of those or you're interested, let me know. Anything tattoos, just let me know. I'll do it, um, because I know you guys are best. Um, but I will see you guys next Thursday with a new video, um, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Alright, see you guys then. Bye!